I know what you're writing. You know what I'm writing? Yes, I know what you're writing. What am I writing? Problem deciphering between fantasy and reality. Poor emotional response. Possible schizophrenia, possible bipolar. That about right. That's not what I'm writing. I'll put a G on it if you let me look. <laughs> I'm not going to put a thousand dollars on it. Come on. I didn't think so. Let me ask you a question. Is he in the room? You're good at this. This ain't my first rodeo. Well, is he? Can you see him right now? <clears throat> nope. Here's what I want you to do. One and a half Thorazine, no booze or outside drugs. Which is funny because you give me a script for a bottle of drugs and tell me not to take anyone else's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except for this time, I want you to write down how you feel. How I feel? 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after. And we'll take it from there. You know I can feel you breathing down my neck, right? Like you're burning a hole in the side of my fucking head. Well, good, cause uh, I was starting to feel invisible around these parts. I love what you're doing with the place, man. The white's very, I don't know, institutional. <laughs> but the decor, it's like uh, Requiem meets Hoarders. Fucking hysterical. It is a wonder you are not a comedian instead. Yeah, well, I figured the world needed another artist. And I'd rather be a musician. Well, either way, starving artist, so I guess I didn't fool anybody there. Speaking of which, what are you trying to be fucking basket over here? Jesus, it's like the 12th fucking pain this week. I'm just saying, man. Instead of wrapping years around new music, you're a step away from cutting your fucking ear off. I'm in no rush to finish this album. <laughs> That's a fucking understatement. Look, I'm trying to get this done, so... Like, you can help or go get fucking lost, I mean. 
You look like you're doing okay for yourself over there, Jean. Although, I could help you out and put the three-point crown right there. Come on, man. Really? New York, Brooklyn. Uh, really, man? Fuck. Really? You're a fucking preschooler, painting pictures, taking naps. Ready thinks you're gonna wake up, bank account's gonna be full, Daisy's gonna be raining from the sky, and girls gonna be waiting around the corner to suck your cock. <laughs> I can barely understand you with all that food in your mouth, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out to lunch. <laughs> man. Can we please just stop this? Can we just please not do this? I'll leave. I'll leave. Remember this. Real artists aren't sitting in their shithole studio painting pictures of trees against their fucking wall. They're out painting the world. You need to get your shit together. Fall in love again. Start feeling things in your fucking life. Oh, and lose the Smurf pants. Got me looking ridiculous showing up to nice establishments with paint all over my fucking hand. Somewhere between our first breath and our last, we fall in love with something. It isn't planned. It creeps up on you and you don't know it until you're wrapped up in it. You get a feeling in your stomach like you're spraying your name on a wall in between your breaths and the sound of paint flying out of the cap, you hear a siren in the distance. Do you freeze? Or do you finish what you came to do? The truth is, I wake up every day with these cans strapped around my waist like I'm fucking Batman and the city is my coloring book. Why? Because why not? We all got to rise to the occasion at some point in our lives. And I live each day knowing that if I'm going to fall, it's going to be from the sky while I'm writing my name on the stars. After that, I'll probably wake up, make a cup of tea, and get a real job. Yo, do you have the time? Uh, no, no, I, I don't. Uh, uh, hey, yo, hey, yo, it's hey, all yo, about you, the time. It's all about 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 the time.